Lisa. I am working on a page today uh, with a couple of small photos of our favorite little basketball player. Actually, he's not so little anymore. He's getting tall. And I didn't take these photos. My stepdaughter sent them to me, and I'm not sure if that she took them. I don't know. Um, they were such a resolution that I had to print them really small. They just you know how some photos are you just can't blow them up because they're that's just the resolution that came out so these are going to have to be small and the sketch I've picked out to use from my uh, sketchbook is really one that was designed for a one page a four by six but I'm going to use these two photos in place of the four by six since they're actually about three and a half inches by two or so they'll easily fit into that space I think I'm also going to flip the sketch and put the photos over on the left and then do the papers underneath. I do think I'm going to continue with the star theme though. I think that goes well uh, with the basketball theme. I am going to do something a little different for me. Very uh, most, almost all the time, I match the colors from the photos to my papers or the papers to the photos. Um, in this case though, I've done pictures of him before in his basketball outfit and I know that the team colors are a dark, like a forest green. Really Really hard color to find in scrapbooking and I don't think I have anything that color uh, but I do have some papers from Echo Parks all about a boy I don't have very much left of this just a little bit and I kind of like to move it out of my stash so I think I'm going to go ahead and use up um, the majority of these papers on this layout I really like this wood grain chevron I like the movement of the chevron and the wood grains like the hardwood floor um, of the um, basketball court I don't think I'll probably use this orange I may work with the other side and, and put my journaling on that I'm not sure um, even though he's not wearing denim of course since he's playing basketball it is a good background I think for a boy page so I'm just going to go ahead and use the denim page because um, the back side is it's not really applicable here so I've got some things to work with I've just a little bit of this colorful chevron and, I, and some of the papers here I don't need very much I have some stars they're even about the right color. I don't know if I'm going to leave them this color or I may um, recolor them. Sometimes I just pull the cover off the chipboard and redo them. These came from the dollar store. They were an inexpensive buy and they'll work very well here. Another thing that came from the dollar store are these um, letters. They were so inexpensive that I bought uh, three packs of them and I'm glad I did because I've already used most of the vowels out of the first pack and I'm kind of working my way down here uh, into the uh, third pack. So um, I wanted to say something about free throws so I'm going to need a couple of E's and so that was a, a good pack for that and it also goes with that hardwood floor uh, kind of look. I have some stickers from Simple Stories. That okay I've trimmed my photos down and I apologize for that glare there. I did not notice that when I was filming. Um, it'll go away here in a moment. Just trying to figure out where things are going to look good, especially those words. That I can't put them directly on that other wood grain paper, so I need another piece, and I found the piece that will work. I also want to put my journaling in a pocket, and I have an envelope here. I think, though, I will mat the photos and put them on the envelope. I do have some dark green cardstock. No idea where it came from. Um, I think it's been, it was in my cardstock um, extras drawer. Now, the yellow paper I don't think works out. I'm, I'm just not sure about it. But I needed some red to go with some of that chevron, and that's Dylan's favorite color. So I found a 6x6 piece of red paper from Simple Stories that goes with the stickers that we're going to use later on. I have just a little bit of that favorite chevron that came out of this collection. I think I can trim that down and use it. It's my stars. Just kind of figuring out the sizing of things. Still not sure about the yellow paper. All right, I've got the photos matted and trimmed down and I'm going to take this envelope and create a pocket out of it for the journaling. It needs to be a little bit smaller than what uh, than the regular size for it. So I'm trimming off the bottom here. And this will get covered um, with the photos. But I just went ahead and took a little bit off the bottom and folded up um, the bottom edge and made a flap. That'll get glued down and that'll hold the journaling in place real neatly. And I'll also need to trim that top flap off because I don't really need to close anything. I just want the, the opening part of the envelope to show because it has a nice finish to it.
and then I'm going to use that ledger paper to make the journaling block to go inside and then my stepdaughter can write whatever she would like uh, about the basketball season or this particular game on the paper. I'm making my own tag with this so I'm using some punches to create the um, little circle, what do they call that thing, the hole protector. And I put it on here, I used a large circle and a smaller circle to create it. I put it on here and I'm going to punch out the smaller circle and I realized it was actually a little bit too far, I had marked it a little bit too far down on the tag, but that was okay. Using my Zig uh, glue pen to glue this on. And then that'll slide down easily in the envelope and I'll put some um, ribbon on that a little bit later on to make a pull tab. Now I start to measure the items on my sketch, which you can do that, that way, but these are all listed in the measurements and sizes section. So I know what size to cut things. That 6x6 six six one, though, is going to pretty much stay that size. I, it, I can't really change it. Um, I could make it smaller, but I don't need to make it smaller. Um, the chevron, I believe uh, the sketch has that around 8 inches, and I'm uh, cutting it about that length. I'm going to go ahead and make it into an arrow. The, sh the sizes, of course, on the sketches are, are suggestions. You use whatever sizes work with your particular layouts and papers. My photo is actually smaller than what the photo was in the sketch, but it works fine. And whether I deciding whether I want the red paper over, far over to the edge or maybe floating a little bit more in the middle. I'm going to trim this light blue paper down to put the letters on. And I'm using a white gel pen to mark my stitching lines rather than sewing. It's a little more casual look, and I think the larger stitching, larger marks for stitching will look really good. I was really pleased with how that came out. You'll see it also in the finished uh, page. It looked a lot, it actually looked better than I thought it was going to using the white stitching. I don't think I've ever done that with a scrapbook page. I've done a lot with cards. Trying some different letters here for the word for star, it's going to say star on it, and I just had some challenges getting um, the right size let or getting the letters in the right position. Okay. And then for my ribbon, I've taken a piece of red and black uh, ribbon that I had in my stash and taking some black twine and going around that just to tie a knot and hold it taut so it looks a little bit better and easier to pull out. Sometimes I tie those in a bow. Since it was a boy page, I didn't do the bow. And I'm still trying to work that yellow in, and it's just not quite working. I wanted a little more subtle color on the uh, on there as, as for some extra interest. So I'm using a green because I didn't have a whole lot of green and it's just a little green washi tape there on the bottom and that gives me a line for my letters to rest on. Got those glued down and I've trimmed off some of the papers, some of that um, chevron uh, paper with the wood grain and you'll see, I'm sorry it's off screen there, you'll see it in just a moment. And I also used the very last of that uh, colorful chevron paper. And then I spent some time trying to figure out what to do with these stickers. And I have this one large one I really wanted to use. I put it all kinds of places. Um, I'm leaving it there in the middle. And I have some smaller stickers. Those are fairly easy to fit in in different places. Still not sure about that. 100% there. I'm going to use dimensional adhesive to adhere the pocket. I finally put that large sticker up. It just it just didn't work. It conflicted with the stars. It sort of took away from them. But there are some arrows and some stars on that sticker and the little bitty stars make a nice little um, embellishment just to scatter around like you might do with enamel dots or mist. And they were just little star stickers. So I did a bunch of those to wrap up my page.
we took the sketch and we flipped it this way and then down here at the bottom I add a little more paper so for a little bit more of an embellishment group and I changed the size of this one paper and used a 6x6 six six and scooted it over a little bit more so you could see more of that uh, background. The photo is uh, two photos instead of one photo and it's just a little bit smaller and then since this didn't have a place for journaling I put the journaling in the pocket so my stepdaughter daughter can write whatever she wants in there. And that's my page. And then I did the faux stitching around the edge. So you can get some close-ups of the page. So that's my page. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're interested in the sketches, they are in a sketchbook that's available on my blog. It's only $8 for 52 sketches and links to all the videos that went with these back in 2013. Um, and you can see they're, they're pretty versatile. Thank you so much for your comments. And